typical I don't even want to know. Just came down, had a look and gone off again. It'll be interesting to see if we get a report on what, what they're going to do. But if you look along here, if the, the waterways are not supposed to damage any of the, the, the rushes or anywhere where wild fowl or any sort of waterfowl are actually nesting. We can show you here now, there's a mallard here and she's sitting on a pile of weed in the reeds where she would normally be nesting. Now we know there's another mallard somewhere here yesterday with, and she had a, a load of two or three day old chicks with her. We don't know where she's gone, we don't know where the chicks are gone. For all we know, they could be buried under that and who's to, who's to say. So we just have a look at some of the damage there done by, by the, the dredgers if you like. You see that there's the mallard, there's the female in there where she should be sitting in a nest. The nest is obviously gone. Look at the grass, the waste grass thrown up and over onto the reeds. Birdies anything in it. So if there is any birds nesting, gone, destroyed. It's an absolute disgrace, it's a joke, and somebody needs to do something about it. We're now in the middle of the spawning period, the spawning season for, for all coarse fish in the canal. We're also in the nesting season for waterfowl. But just to suit the boulders, this is done every year and absolutely decimates stocks and any future stocks with eggs and fry being removed with, with the dead weed, with the cut weed. It's absolutely disgraceful. All on the hook. Absolutely disgraceful. The whole area is destroyed. And we know from looking at the mallards being here, this is obviously an area for them for nesting. And it's gone. There's a dead fish straight away. I mean, you say this thing doesn't harm fish, doesn't do any damage. Of course it does. Have fish. Yesterday, this place was alive with spawning fish. They're gone. Where are they gone? We don't know if they've moved on. We don't know what what the story is. We don't know if they've even spawned and everything is destroyed. So it's a you know it's an absolute ecological disaster as far as we're concerned. And there's no reason for it. And you can see where they've been damaged, where they've been crushed by the by the cutters coming in too far, just to dump weed just to dump them dead grass. So they have to come in to them with the machine right up until they hit the bank to dump any of the grass that they have in the tipper. And it's the same along here. I've checked the, um, some of the weed that came out today and there's no spawn or fry in it at the minute. But as I say, they were only spawning here yesterday. So, you know, if they were spawning wood about to go through, that would have stopped fairly quick. So hence the reason we can't find anything in the weed. We know from history though, we have found fry and spawn on the, the grass that's been removed. So how can we have any future in the canals for fishing? Or anything, including waterfowl, if this is going to hurry on every year during the nesting season and the, and the spawning season. Here's an example of the amount of sort of the amount of weed that's removed, but it's not even the amount that's removed, it's how it's removed. They just turn the machine in, straight in, hit the bank and throw it up. So if you have anything nesting there whatsoever, it's gone. And you know, if there's any spawn on any of any that weed, it's gone. It's here now to, to, to rot. It's just, just no no excuse for it whatsoever. It, there has to be there are alternatives, they just don't want to seem to look at them. So we need to get this sorted. This is just just not acceptable. And this is going on down the whole stretch, they'll do this and they don't care what they dump it on as you see down below with the mallards. At the moment here in, this, in the stretch, we're seeing lots of activity from courses, mainly roach. Right? And we know from earlier on, when before the, the picture arrived with the camera, that there was spawning activity in along the reeds. This is just fantastic. Like th this is what we should be seeing. This is what the, the whole habitat is all about. And um, see, there's a shoulder down here. The shoulder roach. It, this, this, and this particular stretch. At one stage, there's a massive shoulder down there. At this stage, stretch at one stage used to have used to hold really large bream, massive hybrids. The whole lot, all gone. They don't exist anymore from the damage that's been done. Here's big shoulder fish here now and again this is going to be destroyed tomorrow the cutters are going to go through here and god knows where them fish are going to go or what they're going to do you can see them coming into the edges there and you see them going again to, to spawn it's it's just sad and sick to think that tomorrow this stretch of water is just going to look like 
a mud pill. There's not going to be any weed, there's not going to be any plant life, nothing whatsoever, there's going to be no insect life, and them fish are not going to be here. It's absolute disgrace. Somebody in this whole, with this whole situation is getting paid. Somebody is getting paid this contract to do this work, and they're getting money to do this work. We don't have a problem with, any, with, the, with the, the, we, or the, the canal being clear for boats down the centre channel and being cut. It's the timing. IFI are not telling Waterways Ireland when they can and cannot cut stretches. Although having said that, according to one Waterways Ireland guy, they, are, they do get the dates from IFI. And if IFI are giving them the dates now, well then shame on IFI. But these waters should be monitored. When the fish are spawning, they should be left for at least two or three weeks before they, they, they allow the cutters to go in. That's the job of the IFI, protect the fish stocks. I, I'm looking behind the camera here and I'm seeing tons and tons and tons of roach behind me here. It's all coming up this stretch canal. But it's, as I say, tomorrow, we'll show you the video tomorrow. Th this is going to be dead. Gone. Bye. These were boards in a tree. These were hedgerows on a farmer's land. He can't touch them. By law, he cannot cut his hedgerows from March to August because of nesting boards. We're only asking that somebody find an alternative, whether it be triploid carp, which they use in other European countries to great success, which don't breed, but and they restock them, or whether it be the IFI actually getting their finger out and doing their job, monitoring each stretch a week or two before it's due to be cut, Checking if they are either spawned or they're not spawned, and then giving a date when it's safe to do so. That's not happening. Everybody's just sitting on their hands, and somebody, as I say, at the end of the day is getting paid to do this damage. Absolute disgrace. The sad thing is that, from an angling tourism point of view, if, if these canals were, were being promoted for the fish that's in them, We'd be back to where we were 25 years ago, with anglers coming from all over Europe and banks being full of sweet boxes and guys having fun and spending money in, in the economy. It's just, this is just blatant, absolute blatant vandalism as far as I'm concerned. And if anyone disagrees with that, well, they're tough. Thank you.